Here we are back at Broadway Joe TV with uh, John Dockery of uh, John Dockery and Joe Namus Football Camp, and we have with us Billy Fitzgerald, uh, who's been working at the camp with John, a good friend of John's, for over 40 years at camp. And we've got two Brooklyn natives, I think go back to grammar school, so uh, I'm looking forward to this conversation. Uh, Billy, uh, you know, glad to have you with us, and maybe uh, you could talk a little bit about you know, those first days and uh, uh, knowing John. Great to be here. Uh, uh, like you said, we, went, uh, we go back a long way, uh, pre-elementary. <laughs> so we started kindergarten together, but we knew each other from uh, the block, as they would say. Everybody else lives in, on a street in Brooklyn, you live on a uh, block. But uh, growing up, we played all sports, and uh, we loved football. And that, you know, now we're here because of uh, payback. Football, I think it was uh, uh, Saturday Night Live, used to have a skit. Baseball has been very, very good to me. Well, football has been very good to me. It's, uh, and most of it stems from the camp. Just great people. I mean, just uh, people that you, you look, to, uh, look up to. Winston Hill, Joe, John, and other people that have, that have come through. And, uh, you know, we're all family, but the, the nice thing is I could bring my family here. My son started as a camper, as a, a counselor. Now he's up here as a coach. My daughter it works in the office and the store. She loves coming up here. So, it, it, and she, the people that they meet are not only inspirational, but they're good people. And that's why, my, like, my son got into coaching okay. because of the people here. Yeah. They, you know, if I, I would like them, to, uh, him to emulate, it's somebody like John, who is just a, a, a great person inside and outside. He goes at it out of his way for people. He's and that's losing what credibility now. <laughs> He's starting to lose credibility. It was all right from the yeah. beginning. Yes, the camp is like a family. Hey, and we are like family. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're back with John and Bill, and uh, we're starting to talk about the Brooklyn years, uh, having some laughs about, uh, you know, uh, some of the lifetime memories. But the, the camaraderie is so obvious. With your teammates coming back, John, you, you mentioned the Winston Hills and the Dave Hermans. Well, I got to tell you, we've had a barrel of laughs up here the last couple of years. I mean, you guys are funny guys. I just was wondering if you had a couple of stories from the neighborhood that popped to mind. Maybe the first time you met each other, or maybe you know some scrapes in, co in high school, whatever that uh, <laughs> you might have had from the days in Brooklyn. But uh, you know, we've been joking around a lot, and I know uh, you guys are you know uh, have a lot of good memories. So anything that comes to mind uh, from the camp or otherwise? Forty years and never had a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple. Come yeah. on. <laughs> a couple <laughs> of spats. <laughs> but it is a it is a family atmosphere. Uh, uh, I can re remember uh, one of the earlier camps. Uh, Jim Kelly, uh, Vinnie Testaverdi came as counselors, and uh, they stayed. Uh, I guess a, a week, uh, uh, maybe even longer. But uh, you know, they uh, went on. They did pretty good, a and that's what Joe does, he attracts people. And uh, he's got that magnetic personality that people want to be around. And, uh, and be, not only because he's a great athlete, but because he, he's a, a terrific person. Uh, about two years ago, I think it was, uh, Phil Villapiano came up and he was a visiting pro at one time. He brought his son. And he uh, told us a story that it was, I, I think it was his last year in Buffalo and uh, he asked the coach if he, he could get on the kickoff team. Now, he was a, a former All-Pro, all sure? but he loved the game. He wanted to get on, and he said he gets on the field, and he's getting ready for the, the kickoff, and the player from the other side goes, Coach. And he didn't want to look at the, the guy, and he goes, Coach. And finally looked at him, and he said, Coach, you were my coach at the Namath camp. <laughs> so, it, I mean, it, it, it was a, amazing. I, I had a shirt on, I was in an airport, and somebody came up to me. So, it, it, like John said, 20,000 people, you know, 20,000 individuals come by, you know, and have a, a fine memories of the camp. I'm going to throw a curveball at you. Anything over the years that were a particular challenge, rain, uh, yeah. the location, what have you, there's got to be one of those where you guys overcame some obstacles, made it happen, and had some laughs over the years. Anything come to mind? First year of the camp, we had to finish the pool before we got started at camp because we rented a ski lodge and it wasn't ready, the pool. So we were building the pool and trying to do the camp at the same time. 
And, and when you're rain just about every day and everyone was so... Massachusetts. Big. Yes. We had a, we couldn't scrimmage. We had, we finally had a scrimmage on... Then the, the camp uh, ran an extra day into Saturday and uh, we had a scrimmage right before the kids were getting on the bus to go home. <laughs> <laughs> but one of my favorite stories, and this one is... And Fitz remembers this. And uh, Joe, and a lot of people that come through, I mean, I'll meet them along the way, and they'll be CEOs, CFOs, uh, lawyers, doctors, uh, professors over the years from the camp. Say, oh, I knew you back when I was at the camp in such and such a time. And I say, oh, God, am I that old. <laughs> but this particular day, we were up at Nichols College, and we had two little guys who weren't exactly that into the camp, and they were sort of learning. They were young, and parents sent them up, and their names were Brian and Garland. Hunt. I've never forgotten it after how many years it's been, probably 30 years. And the two of them, we were trying to teach them the stance, the very basics of football. You know, you, well, you know, you're right-handed, so you put your right foot back, and then you put your right hand down, and you, um, anyhow, we're trying to teach them, and I, I, I just walked away. I couldn't, because they weren't exactly paying attention. They were looking at the beautiful blue sky, asking, you know, the pool was over there, they wanted to get to the pool, so finally I said, uh-uh. So Joe comes over and says, well, maybe I can teach these guys. So Joe spends about a half hour on the ground, moving around, trying to get their stance right, and still they were all cockeyed. So finally they sat down and Joe said, well, do you have any questions? And they said, yeah, when's Joe Namath coming to camp? <laughs> uh, 